So today at around 12.30, we received a call of shots fired in the area of 223 MLK Drive, Martin Luther King Drive. Units responded and were immediately engaged by high-powered rifle fire. The citywide assist was called. At that time, we were learning at the same time that we had another officer down in another part of the city, uh, down on Garfield Avenue by Caven Point. I don't know the exact address. That officer has since been listed as deceased. That is Joseph Seals, detective with our cease fire unit. More on Joe in a little bit. <clears throat> our unit set up a perimeter, 223 MLK. We had a citywide assist. We called for mutual aid from our partners. Our partners began with the FBI, Port Authority, all surrounding municipalities, ATF, just about all the folks um, that were within earshot of us responded. At that time, we set up a tactical advantage, continued to take gunfire for hours. Our officers were under fire for hours. Two more police officers were hit by gunfire. One sustained a injury to the shoulder, one sustained another injury to the body. Those officers have since been released from the hospital. They are Ray Sanchez and Fer Farinella Fernandez. Once again, we're happy they're all right. However, Joseph Seals succumbed to the gunshot wounds that he received. At that time, we started to piece some information together. Everything I tell you is preliminary. The investigation will take weeks, maybe months. The crime scene is very extensive and is at three locations at least. At this time, um, we have one stolen U-Haul ve uh, vehicle that may contain an incendiary device. That has since been taken from the location and has been examined by our bomb squad members. Secondly, we have Five people, DOA inside the store, that members of the police force that set up, uh, eventually we declared them DOA. We believe two of them are bad guys, we believe three of them are not. That may be civilians that were inside the store. Once again, this is all preliminary information. But you should know that the police department in Jersey City and our partners did an extraordinary job under very difficult circumstances, under high power rifle fire, where no other citizens in Jersey City were struck with gunfire, and our police officers were brave until finally the threat was neutralized.